Good morning. Uh, today is 7 July 2018 and I just wanted to show uh, what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, right now I have a 50 watt solar panel just tied up there for now just to keep the batteries charged while I'm away. Since like the shore power cable right here, I can only connect when I'm here to keep the batteries charged and the batteries don't really stay charged very well. What I wanted to do for a while is mount a solar panel between the stanchions and I got a kit from emarineinc.com. They have a bunch of uh, solar and wind supplies, I think. I think they have wind. Uh, but anyway, they have these little stanchion kits and I ordered one for each side of the boat. So I'm just going to show what it comes with. So I got two of these brackets. So this right here uh, would attach to the stanchion and then the vertical holes right here would be to mount the tubing that comes with it. So I got two of those got this short tube which I'm still trying to figure out what its purpose is but it's holding the end caps which I'll put onto the long tube and this right here has a little rubber stop on the end and then here's a little eye bolt and another little fitting here so this would attach to uh, the fittings on the solar panel, which this kit d did not come with. This is just the basic stanchion kit, but they have kits that include solar panels. So this would attach to the panel. This is a lock that allows this to slide out to kind of get the full length here. So that way, when the panel is hooked up to the tube, uh, you'd be able to sit it, you know, at whatever angle you need to, to catch the sun. And then, bag of U-bolts and these little cap, where are they? Right there, these little cap nuts. U-bolts have the regular bolts already attached to them. So, got the mount, the short bar, adjuster bar, U-bolts, and then the tubing. The tubing is, that I got with the kit was actually this one right here that I'm holding. This is six foot long, and unfortunately it was just a few inches too short for me, so I went on to sail right and I got a seven foot tube, which is this one here. Uh, the one I ordered from Sailrite is a thick wall, seven foot thick wall, one inch tube. And look, comparing to the one that came with the kit, look about the same. So I just, nothing's tightened down yet. I just test fit it right now. So I can still attach lines here to the top lifeline. So actually while I'm here I can take this end cap and just attach it right here. So that way it gives it a nice look and kind of get away from the sharp edges on the tube. But since the six foot tube was just a few inches too short now it's sticking out. I have it sticking out on both ends right now. So what I got to do is uh, kind of mark it off at one point and just cut it to shorten it. So what I'm going to do is uh, once that's cut I have some other hardware that'll attach to this bar right here and that's where I'm looking at 
put in a solar panel. And since I didn't get the panel hardware, I'm going to make that myself. I got a couple straps uh, from Online Metals website. Just quarter in. Oh, by the way, the brackets on the stanchions are quarter inch thick. So we're coming over here to the truck. And these pieces that I ordered for the online metals is also a quarter inch. So what I'm going to do is mark a hole on each end. As you, so this is 24 inches. I'm going to mark a hole on one end for mounting to the panel. And then wherever it is on this side, I think there's going to be a little bit of overlap that will need to be cut off. So another hole will be in here. Then the, there's a separate bracket. It's inside the boat right now, but I'm thinking not halfway, but maybe two thirds of the way. I'll put the bracket here that will actually attach to the tube on the stanchion. And right now, that's the idea of getting a solar panel on each side of the boat. So be mostly out of the way. Shouldn't interfere with any of the lines from uh, from the jib lines here. And yeah. Looks like it'll work pretty well. And then, let's see about coming in here real quick. So, excuse the mess. It's right here. Got this from a local store, but they also have it on that eMarine Inc. website. These rail clamps. So the way this works is, um, get this one. so it opens up, has a couple of these uh, rubber pieces, one's for three quarter, one's for one inch tubing, and I think without it, it's inch and a quarter. So as you see with this knob right here, it attaches from the front or the outside. But the mounting hardware, this stuff will mount from the outside coming in here. As on the inside it has these little uh, nylon uh, lock nuts. So two up front, two, or two top, two bottom. Or excuse me, two, two top, one bottom. And then that'll mount to the aluminum pieces that'll attach to the panel. And this has the one inch piece right here. So the idea of this will just hold the panel onto the tube and be able to adjust the angle towards the sun. Now for the 50 watt panel, I have a different idea on that, which I, starting to work on but I need to redo that I'll try not to mess up anything else but anyway where I showed on the where the 50 watt panel is I want to put that panel or mount it right there where it's at so what I'm looking at is just little aluminum angle like this put holes on one side to mount the panel to so that way the panel would sit like this. And then I have these pieces that I'm looking at having attached on the side. 
since this right here will adjust to the curve of where it's going. Not easy doing this with one hand. But anyway, when it's up here, it'll be attached like this on each end. But then also try to get it so that it'll adjust the height if needed on one side or the other to also angle towards the sun. Um, and not much, but I got these pieces of hardware. Uh, probably not the greatest, but it ought to work for what I'm doing. I, I think that'll work pretty well. So that's just something I'm working on. It's not like high priority project. I, I got plenty of other stuff to work on, as you can see here. Uh, so hopefully I shouldn't have any problem with power for a while. <clears throat> but right now, since the 50 watt panel is the only one hooked up, I have it hooked up to this charge controller it's by Renogy. <clears throat> and that's just going straight to the house bank, which is under here and then this is a 20 amp charger as you can see right there and I got this size the charge charge controller for the 100 watt panels since I want to put one on each side of the boat and right now those panels are sitting in the head just kind of out of the way for now uh, price on those dropped to $99, so I couldn't just pass that up since they're usually $133, $34 uh, lately. So I just wanted to do a quick look at these mounting options, but... So far, I kind of like what it, how it's going to look, and I'll, with the cap nuts uh, on here, I won't be snagging uh, myself on there because I've torn some pant legs before because I have these side cargo pockets that kind of snag on things, but it ought to work well. Now see if I can find someone to help me with this other project for the mast step. So uh, just looking at seeing if this would be helpful to anyone else if they were considering uh, this product. Just make sure you see what the distance is between your stanchions to make sure whether or not this would fit right here because I was just literally only few inches too short on that all right have a good day